Tata Steel, one of the pioneering steel companies globally, has been leveraging value for its customer since 1970. Tata Steel is one of the lowest cost steel producers, powered by one of the most high tech steel making facilities globally. LD3 TSCR is the steel making and rolling facility set up in 2012 at Jamshedpur as a part of the 9.7 million tons expansion plan of Tata Steel. The facility has been exceeding expectations from a rated capacity of 2.4 million tons to expected capacity of 3 million tons. Liquid hot metal comes in torpedoes from blast furnace and is poured into a ladle. Liquid metal has impurities like carbon, silicon, phosphorus and sulphur. The sulphur is removed by injecting lime and magnesium powder at desulphurization station. Injection is controlled online by a mathematical model based on input chemistry of liquid hot metal. Sulphur goes into slag and slag is skimmed off by raking boom which is operated using infrared sensors for preventing metal loss. Scrap and desulphurized hot metal is charged in BOF vessel. High pressure oxygen is blown through lance at a supersonic speed to oxidize impurities. Iron ore, lime and other fluxes are charged in the vessel using thermodynamic process model. The model has adaptive self-learning capability. Smart lance system using audiometer adjusts lance height according to slag condition inside the vessel to prevent sloping. After blowing, the liquid steel is poured into steel ladle. Infrared camera-based vessel auto-tilt system prevents slag from going in steel ladle during pouring. Steel ladle is taken by steel car to online purging station. Argon purging is done to homogenize the composition. After OLP treatment, steel ladle is sent to ladle furnace station. Trimming addition using ferro-alloy model is done to achieve precise chemistry. Argon purging is done through auto-couplers and steel liquid surface argon bubbling is controlled using special camera. Mathematical superheat model uses real-time process variables to accurately control the electric arcing at LF to achieve superheat within 15 to 30 degrees centigrade. Temperature measurement and sampling are done using auto lance. Digital logbooks are used to ensure paperless work. Steel ladle is placed on rotary turret at thin slab casting station. The liquid steel flows to Tundish through collector nozzle stopper rod mechanism for controlling steel flow based on feedback of cobalt-60 radioactive source and scintillation counter-based mole level controller. From the Tundish, using submerged entry nozzle, steel flows into water-cooled copper mold. Automatic casting powder feeder is used to prevent sticking of slab shell to the mold. Mold oscillation is controlled using temposonic position sensors fitted in cylinders operated by servo hydraulics for high speed operation. Steel rapidly starts solidifying, forming a thin, solidified steel shell as it passes through water cooled mold. The shell is passed through segment rolls and directly cooled into slabs 55 to 70 mm thick and 850 to 1700 mm wide. Automatic breakout prediction system uses mold thermocoupled temperature trend based prediction algorithms to forecast sticker in mold and reduce casting speed automatically 
to provide healing time to strand shell and avoid breakouts. At the end of sequence, slab cut length optimizer decides optimum slab length to minimize turn dish loss at caster. Continuous temperature measurement system through stopper rod is used to enhance productivity and safety. For special steel grades, dynamic soft reduction is applied based on solidification model to enhance internal soundness of slab. Slabs from the two casters are reheated in tunnel furnaces to increase the slab temperature. Fully automated combustion control system optimizes the slab heating. The slabs are passed between pair of rolls in multiple rolling stands. The rolling mill converts slabs into required strip thickness of 1.2 to 16 millimeters with variation within 50 microns. The roll gap is set precisely using accurate high response hydraulic gap control mechanism. To ensure proper mass flow balance between stands, each stand is equipped with hydraulic looper coupled to an angle encoder which senses the loop angle and accurately controls the roll speed of preceding stand. The profile of the roll barrel follows a 2 degree polynomial function, CVC, continuous variable crown. Roll handling and feeding to CNC roll grinders is done using auto loader. Roll shop management system maintains and transfers all roll dimensional details to mill level 2 system. Mill is equipped with fully automated level 2 mill setup calculation model to achieve desired strip profile wedge and flatness. Multifunctional X-ray gauge is installed just ahead of the final stand to measure strip dimensions and shape and use the data for self-learning and adaptation. Mill process control uses adaptive learning to modify the setup and thereby accurately achieve the desired strip thickness rolling temperature and other important process parameters. Laminar cooling control model uses thermodynamic flow modeling algorithm based on finish rolling temperature and desired cooling temperature for precise control of the cooling rate, thereby achieving desired mechanical properties of the strip. The 3D tracer enables reuse and recycles the water. Camera-based online surface inspection system is installed after the last rolling stand at mill. The system uses inbuilt defect library images to catch all defects if present on the strip surface and characterize them on real-time basis. This ensures 100% defect-free coil supply to customer. With the help of fully automated circumference and eye and strapping machines, coils are packed onto the coil conveyor. Robotic paint marking machine takes the input from the tracking system to correctly paint the coil identity number and weight on the coil. The yards are equipped with computerized yard management system which ensures coil evacuation from conveyor, tracking and placement in yard. This system is able to receive X, Y, Z coordinate inputs from crane picking and release ensuring accurate geographic coordinate yard map of each coil. Coils are dispatched by rail and road after passing all required quality approval checks. The handheld terminals available with dispatch workforce use the barcode labels on the coil to confirm unique ID. LDT 
Infantry TSCR delivering high quality hot road steel coils to fulfill most demanding customer requirements through excellence in process and people.